Hey guys, what's up? This is Zach from Rocket Zero, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to make a uh, controllable repeating system. So you can like adjust the time that the uh, repeating system repeats for. So, for example, if we go over here, we have a very simple repeating uh, system, and it's very easy. We go over it, we've been over it before, but if we use a lever, we hit the lever and it just repeats and repeats and repeats until you hit the lever again. If you put a button in place, it repeats for only like three clicks. So what if you want to make it like seven clicks or eight clicks or something like that, but you don't want to have to use a lever every time. So over here, I built this is kind of just like to show off the idea. We have some dispensers and they're filled with arrows. And we hit the button. And it goes for seven times because that's what I made it go for. I made, I wired it all up so that it shot out seven arrows from each dispenser and then shut off itself. So what you're gonna need is a building block, a wooden button, a redstone dust, redstone torch, repeater, and dispenser or lights or whatever you want to, whatever you want to activate at the end. So we have three models. We have this one, which is very narrow but kind of long. This one, which is pretty compact overall, and then this one, which is about the same size as the second one, but it kind of orients itself a little bit differently. So how it works is we hit the button and it immediately takes the signal on all this dust here and then powers it. And then it'll go for about the length of three repeaters is how long it'll last for. So whenever this, this line here is done, then this one will be finished up and it'll power this block as well. And then whenever this one's done, three more repeaters added to this one and it'll power it as uh, also. So you're basically just powering this block right here for as long as you want using repeaters. So I'll show you kind of how it works. It immediately powers this one, this one goes, and then this one goes. And all the time it's feeding power to this block which turns off this uh, torch here and then we have it powers this and then our dispenser you can also use it for like an emergency signal or something like that using a redstone lamp so if we just pop that in there then it just blinks seven times and if you want to I think this one's the easiest one to make longer because if you want to make it longer then you just match the last row and then add three. Obviously this will need to be adjusted, but then this one will flash for like eight or nine, or it'll power it for eight or nine rotations of the repeating signal. So that one is pretty easy and it's the most uh, customizable. This one, I like it just because it looks cool. So the middle one gets powered first and then this one over here will power this block and then this one will go. And sometimes I notice this one will go for, usually it'll go for seven uh, clicks, but sometimes it only goes for six. So it's just, this one, it kind of varies occasionally. Still works really well though. So this one, we have a block and then skip four spaces and then put another block. And then we put redstone repeaters going in from each side going into the block and then a repeater going out and out and then we just add two here and then we add four here and then that's how it varies up the uh, time that the signal is carried and all of these by the way are fully extended repeaters so that's if you just put it down and you hit it three times and it'll be fully extended 
and then this one over here we've been over this in a video before it uh you have a you put four blocks down all equal distance apart and then you from this block you just figure out which block you want to put the button in and then you go out and out and then you follow this one around and it goes to this block and then to this block so this block is receiving the signal from two ways this block is outputting the signal from two ways and then we just put a block we connect these two blocks because these are the two blocks that end up with the power and we put them uh, we connect them to this block and then we build our little repeating thing here and then this one will work like this and then if you want to make it longer then you can just uh, space the blocks four blocks apart instead of three in the middle just put make it so that it's like here here one two three four and then here and then do the same thing with repeaters in the middle just find out which button which block you want to put the button on and then you go from there and the reason we use wooden buttons is because wooden buttons actually last longer the output signal longer than the stone buttons that was three and if we use a stone button it'll only go for two so by using the wooden button we're already making the um, the signal last longer than if we were to use a stone button if you use a stone button then you just have to make like this one to get the same effect you'd probably have to add this fourth row here of nine repeaters so this is it uh, just be creative with it if you wanna I'm working on something over here that uses this method let's see if it's wired up correctly nope that's something different but I'm trying to do the same method here for like a heated floor where you can hit the button and then it'll light up the uh, floor using but I don't want the I don't want the constant sound of the uh, the dispensers shooting out the stuff so I'm making it turn off on its own so just kinda get creative with it try to think of methods where this might work maybe like um, a traffic light like a warning signal that drivers will know uh, maybe if a light blinks so many times then that means a certain thing and you can make it blink a certain amount of times by using this method I don't know just trying to come up with ideas let me know what you come up with uh, thanks for watching this was Zach from Rocket Zero go build some of these mm -hmm.